and we are live on our website and on Facebook and Instagram and on YouTube and someone's coming up I think I don't know who it is oh no he isn't oh that's my husband he's hiding he's going right back down the basement we'd have to mic him if he wanted to come all right so I'm going to do some background on this daisy mat and that's what remember last week I changed it so that I had more of an abstract so I'm just I just picked out some greens but before I start there I just want to go out front because Igor has been hanging rugs for us and uh, Angel's going to get them all priced and on the website. They're not all up there yet. But um, I just want to show you the three rugs out in the front of the studio. So come with me. It's just, I'm just so pleased with how they look. There we go. We just, we just got this dyed. This is Golden Glow New Zealand Stream. It's just been dyed. It looks gorgeous. And... Greg has dyed, um, Greg has dyed a new um, collection for us, and I'm going to show you that after. But come on out through. Hi, Greg. Hello. Hi, Darla. Hi. How are you? Good. You're doing some orders. Yeah. Getting all the orders out. So these are my, I don't know, peonies, magnolias, and we got them framed, and actually Igor framed them for us. John, our frame maker, made the frames, and Igor. Uh, got them all nice and flat in the frames and they just I'm just so happy how it looks and what I like to do is I like to go back here just come on back and just have a and then have a look at them so it's like the first thing you see when you walk in our studio so look at them now and I'm just really happy with how they look they're just I don't know I don't know these are I think I want to hang on to these rugs I I, I had them for sale, but now I'm kind of feeling like I think I think I have the makings of a show here and I'd love to show them somewhere. I'd love to take them and have them hanging in a gallery somewhere. I think they're they just look so good together. They just feel um, they feel like spring, but they also feel warm. You know, it's not they don't they don't feel cool to me. They feel very warm, even though that that pink that are used in them is quite a cool color the rugs look very look very warm to me so um off we go i'm going to show you two things on the way through i'm going to show you some new patterns that we have on the wall so there's a bunch of orders getting ready to go out but this is a i like to do um one of a kind patterns and hang them here so this one is called Things I Met at the Sea. And this one is called Peonies on the Village Green. And then I've got this one called The Dancers here. This I'm going to make a screen off. I think I really like it. And I also have Hauling Water and the house behind it. Um, I'm just going to get you to come over here too. And this says, arms that hold you, love that surrounds you. And then there's an, a magical mystery house. When Greg told me I was full of baloney, he didn't use a nice word like baloney, because I had spelt magical M-A-J. And I said, I think you can spell it either way. You know how there's English spellings and there's English spellings and uh, American spellings or Canadian spellings and American spellings, but there isn't for magic. It's actually M-A-G-I-C-A-L, magical. All right, come on in through. Let's get some hooking done. Greg is teaching Igor how to dye today. He's been doing that most of the week, doing some of that, which is good. Greg's going to uh, show him all his tricks. So I'm just going to get some greens here. And I'm just going to start working in the greens. I'm going to have to add some lime to this too. And sometimes when I'm doing the greens, what I'll do is I'll add like, I'll just switch back and forth.
rugs are so much about feeling in my mind. Like that's what, that's what they do for me. And I think that's why I keep making rugs because well, art makes you feel a certain, like, you know, different art. Every, every piece of art can make you feel a different way. It's pretty amazing. So this is another green here. These are, these are our studio uh, collection, the Briggs and Little studio collection that I'm using now. Thank you, Angela. You're picking that up for me. And so I keep moving it around in different ways. This is a, okay. Now, this is our big merino. I don't know the name of this big merino. I, I feel like it's something moss. So I'm going to bring that in. Oh, that's so soft. I love it how that, that green went from mossy to sort of minty almost look at that just does all the work for you right so it just looks like you painted something but really you just use the right yarn in the right place i'm just going to switch back to a daisy so this is going to be a little different than our kit because uh, then our Daisy kit, the new Daisy kit is a hit. Uh, it's everybody loves it. Uh, we have the beginner now too, right? Which is a great way to get someone started for $39.95. You can learn, teach someone a new craft, like can't beat it anyway. Um, but the, the rectangular one and the longer one, they're all, they're all, they've all been hits and we've been working hard to get all the orders out for them. And, and we're, almost caught up. We have a few orders that needed something dyed or a special pattern drawn and we're working on those. I took a beginner kit to my aunt on the weekend. Oh, how did that go? I don't know. <laughs> Just left it her. with her. Yeah. Cause she has something cause my grandma used to do what she said. Oh, okay. Back in the day. So, so she was happy to get she it. She always wanted to try it. So yeah. Anyway, let's see. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I noticed you were in and bought one actually yeah. cause all the orders come through and yeah. I figured it must've been for a gift. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I hope she loves it. Yeah. I'm hoping she tries it. She has really bad arthritis, but she knits and yeah. keeps herself busy. So I, I think she'll be fine. That's good. Is your sister hooking at all? Uh, Gail? I don't know. She yeah. does like the pattern. I thought she said she was almost done the dancing woman there. But oh, good. I don't know. I'm going to put some beige in this one. Just, well, it's just natural. Just to give it a little. How's your hooking coming along, Lorna? <laughs> How's your hooking coming along, Lorna? Haven't right? gotten there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, how's yours coming along? What are you working on? An octopus or an octopus? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was hooking over the weekend. And what were you hooking? Well, it's that kind of fishy thing. Remember I showed you? Oh, right. And I got stuck. And I don't know if what I'm doing is going to work out, but I actually dug it out and got at a, it and did a bit of work on it over the weekend. Oh, good. That's good. It was a long weekend. We had family day here in Canada. I know you had president's day in the United States, but it was sort of like, I don't know. Uh, three days off is a lot for me. And uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> not for you though, no. Lorna. You're, you were happy to have your three days off. Yeah. 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 I know I get like a little antsy, but by the third day you sort of get into the groove of it. Like so nice. Like Saturday and Sunday were very nice. Very nice days. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. That helps. <laughs> it does help. And this morning I saw you walk into town and it was cold out, but it wasn't too bad, eh? No, you just have to dress for it. Yeah. Okay. We need a question for this week for everyone. And I don't have one right at the top of my head. You guys are going to have to start like sending in, sending us in some questions that we can ask everybody because the answers make the comments so much more interesting. Someone was just saying the pat the pattern this Daisy you're working on now is not, is not a like a, something you're selling. It's just your pattern. Uh, they're working on a Daisy. It's no, this is what you, the Daisy pattern you're working on. Oh no, this is well, it's very close to what 
yeah. it's very close to our kits. I just change the shape of it a little and, and I do that, you know, I, like when I'm working on it myself, I'll just usually change it up a bit, but I change the shape of it. But basically, yeah, the days, the new Daisy kit we have will lead you down this path that I'm going right here for sure. More daisies. We'll soon be seeing the daisies. Okay. Okay, so a good question for today might be, does Thursday feel like the beginning of the weekend to you? Uh, and if it does, like, tell me why. Because one of the things I'm noticing is that a lot of people start to feel like Thursday you know, they say Wednesday's hump day, but I find like a lot of people now nah, treat like Thursday night, like Friday night used to be a little bit. Do you find that? I don't know. I don't go anywhere. So. Don't go anywhere. So. <laughs> but yeah, it does like, when does your weekend, tell us about your weekends. When does it sort of begin? Do you just sort of start with Thursday night? Like maybe on Thursday night, you'll have a glass of wine or Thursday night you might go out with friends or whatever. Just, just wondering, uh, or if the weekend, what's your, what, and a lot of you I know are retired. So if you're retired, what's your weekend like? Tell us, tell us about your, how is your weekends different than your week or when does your weekend begin? That'll be our question for today. So uh, it's not a, it's not a question you can just answer yes or no to. You got to think about it a little bit, I guess. But I kind of find like Thursday is kind of, Thursday is Friday junior. <laughs> like Friday junior. Yeah. So did someone, someone said, say that? Yeah. Friday. It's like junior Friday. And it didn't used to be, it started being like that for me in university, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'd actually like to ask a question, if that's okay. Yes, Angela would like to ask a question. Are you Mike Dange? So there was a bit of a disagreement in my household last night. Oh, I heard that. Yes, I heard there was something. So this is my question, and maybe I shouldn't ask this because it doesn't make me look very good. But when you do laundry, do you take it out of the dryer right away, or do you leave it in the dryer or on top of the dryer? My husband informed me last night that he would like to do some laundry and he can't get in the laundry room. <laughs> we have this issue at our house too. So I was up till after midnight folded laundry. <laughs> but I, Lorna puts her laundry away right away. I no, bet you it's still warm. I bet you, no, because a lot of times I'll just turn the dryer on for like five minutes to get the wrinkles. Out. I know, right? Because I, you know. I think it's best if you get it while it's still warm. Well, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, Angela, how long had your laundry been there? I'm just curious. Look, she doesn't even want to answer. <laughs> she's got her mouth. She's got her lips sealed. Richie, Richie, we're right. I don't actually know. <laughs> you don't actually know how long it's been there. It kind of multiplies. <laughs> Oh, it just multiplies. So we know, we know it was over a week, <laughs> a week, maybe a month. <laughs> How often does Richie Richie do uh, laundry? Okay. We need another question. <laughs> I think, I think Rich won this one. Yeah. I do. I think he's like way ahead of her, but I know. And I think he was right. Cause as Dr. Phil says, I'm like a right fighter. I always like to be right. Yes. And You're I a right fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to come up with something and I couldn't. She's a right fighter. Uh, you couldn't come up with anything? You had no, nothing. so I went and spent hours cleaning the laundry room. Oh. Does that mean folding your laundry, cleaning the laundry room? Yeah, I, I did Lorna's trick and put them in the dryer to get the wrinkles out. Yeah. <laughs> we are, oh, uh, I, I don't know. I think. Yeah, I think you got to get them right away. I try to get it right away, but I find like I don't like doing it. I don't want to go fold all my clothes and get all my socks together. And... Well, I have to iron. You right? iron? Oh yeah, I don't know. I iron every week. Oh, oh, you guys wow. don't iron? Like because no. I don't put my clothes. I like all iron. I don't like my clothes in the dryer. Wear. Lorna, I don't fold, fold my laundry. <laughs> I'm not gonna iron. <laughs> I think ironing is a lost art. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, people but, don't iron much anymore, I don't no, think. No, but I then do. a lot of the clothes you have to hang. Well, exactly. So then you have to iron them. Well, no. So I have this contraption in the basement where you put your clothes over to dry. Yes. And then that's in the way. So now I got mad and it's in my little bathroom. <laughs> so this morning I'm trying to get to the bathroom. <laughs> All it over this clothes rack. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I put mine on the clothes rack. And then once they're dry, they have to be ironed. 
Oh, like I don't iron my clothes very much. Like I'll iron them before I wear them. Right. Like if it's something special. Yeah. Like you don't iron your pants or your sweater. Yes. You iron your sweater? Yes. What? Oh my god. We just gotta run it over a little bit because it gets wrinkly laying on wow. the rack. Wow. No, I don't iron my sweaters. Oh, I don't like my clothes in the dryer. Oh. Put my towels and sheets and stuff, but I don't want my clothes in the dryer. Yeah, I put my clothes like certain things in the dryer and then certain things I hang. But a lot of my clothes, like I just put them on the hanger and just let them hang to dry. Yeah. No, I put them over the rack. Don't so, tell me you iron your jeans. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I do occasionally iron my jeans because they get so wrinkly. Yeah, you have to. Some of them. Sorry, Ange. I guess I'm All right. this one too. So, yeah. so we want to know about your weekends and your laundry habits. <laughs> this is this is when does your weekend begin? <laughs> like, and your laundry habits. Yeah, someone said uh, when you retired, uh, Friday to Sunday is your weekend. Friday to Sunday? Yeah. I'd like to try that. <laughs> so we have one of the women who was working with us. She's just immigrated from Ukraine, and she's looking for a couch. If anyone, if anyone got a couch, there you go. If you can drop that off from Minnesota or <laughs> <laughs> wherever. But, yeah, we're, we're looking for a couch for one of our uh, coworkers. She's looking for a couch. Um, and she's a great worker. She just started with us a little while ago, but we're really enjoying getting to know her. And, uh, I just thought I'd throw that out there because you never know. Someone local could be watching for sure. Okay. I love this green. This is from our New Zealand collection. Um, I don't even know if we still have it, but just like, I think when you're doing the daisies, one thing that's important is that you use some really fresh greens, like maybe a bit of lime or, cause I, I think that really, well, it really makes the white look good and it also it just kind of it says spring like colors say certain things like this color does not really say spring i'm going to use it in here of course but uh which is fine i don't know what this would say this would say well color talks right so what's it saying to me it's saying i wish you hadn't put me in a knot i would be so much happier if i wasn't in a knot um this color is saying, uh, I feel like that color is saying like, well, maybe March when things are a little muddy or November when things are starting to fade. Um, so, but this color, what's that saying? It's, but see one, now just look at that. When I put that color there like that and I say it says, you know, kind of says March, but when I put it and I butt it right up against this other color, all of a sudden it's saying, well, maybe April. You know, because of its relationship and color is color not only talks, but it's always in relationship to what's next to it. And that's something that um, you would have learned if you'd taken any of our color courses. In the next few months, I'm going to try and create some more small courses like the neutrals course. The other thing I'm going to do is um, I want to uh, tell you that the inspiration sessions the inspiration sessions are these sessions where I hook for an hour straight and I lead you through the whole process of a rug that I'm working on. And we also, with the inspiration sessions this year, we're going to create kind of a club. So once a month, we're going to have a Zoom hook in live with me. It's private. Um, it's a nice time. Usually we end up with, because not everybody comes, we usually end up with 60, 70, 80 people at the hook in, sometimes less. Uh, we actually have a Zoom hook in this afternoon for the members of the inspiration sessions. And we're going to add some extra videos and we're going to have a private Facebook group because we want to build the community. We, I love the community we had when we had the harbor. And so I'm going to take the inspiration sessions and try and build a nice tight community around the studio. The inspiration sessions will open again on March 1st. And we're keeping the same price as we did last year. It's uh, We had an introductory price of $19.95 a month, and we never changed it, and we're not going to change it. It's a great deal. You get a lot for that $19.95. You get a one-hour video with me in the studio teaching you a lesson uh, directly. Like And, and underneath the uh, video, you can ask me questions, and I'll answer you directly. Um, or you can comment. Uh, you get uh, access to the private community. And you get access uh, to the inspiration zooms. We end up doing we ended up doing about eight or ten last year, 
and the Zooms are live and you can ask me questions directly. And so we end up creating quite a nice little community through the inspiration sessions. And this year we're just going to add some bonus videos. But those one hour sessions, I'm, I'm going to, when we do the product, I'm going to uh, put all the different comments that we got from people, how much people have learned. Initially, I didn't see these as a learning thing, but they definitely are. If you want to learn with me privately in my studio, Think about the inspiration sessions. The sign up will open on March 1st. So this is a, this is a little bit of background. Are you doing the year, the total, the year yeah, we'll package do, too? Yeah, we're going to do a year package. And when you buy for the whole year, which most people did last year, they bought for the whole year, you end up saving quite a bit. Um, I think you end up saving around $40 when you buy the whole year. So uh, if you like these lives, the inspiration sessions are, well, they are 10 times better just to say yeah because you're there with me and i'm i'm leading you through every every step of the way and uh, you will learn a lot if you if you love rug cooking then you will love the inspiration sessions so when i'm doing this background as i said i keep changing my colors i keep changing my greens and i'm going with kind of a darker look for this one than the other ones. I shouldn't have done that. There we go. There was something else we were supposed to cover today. Greg's yarn. Oh yeah, Greg's yarn. But I feel like there was something else that I was supposed to tell you about today. I better go look at my book because I wrote it down. Angela, can you think of anything that I... Sometimes what I do is I make little designs in these. Like I've just made that little little shape and now I'm going to make another little shape like I'll do these little shapes you don't remember what we were supposed to cover today do you Ange no I had something written down and I'm going to go check it so I'll make these little shapes and I I didn't do this in the kit but I'll, and then I'll fill it in with another color you know just because I think it Think that when I stand back from it it's going to look really interesting and so it's less about being realistic and more about being a little bit abstract so maybe I'll take this one here and do the same oh I love that mint against the white and make another shape over here but do it with the big thick yarn oh I know what it was Someone wanted to see the back of one of my rugs. That was one thing. So I'm going to show you that. So then maybe I'll fill that in with this. Just to see. So that's one way you could play around with a background. You can play around your backgrounds when you're doing backgrounds. Sometimes you just like to, the other way you can do a background is just to like find little areas and create little shapes. So you just go in here and there's a little triangle for you. Now with the daisies, there's going to be lots of little triangles. So I'm going to take that and go all the way down just so that I don't end up with one triangle after another. There we go. So it's pretty simple, really, hooking in your background. It's about changing, it's about picking the right colors and then changing your colors accordingly. Now I have this, this is, um, big softy and I love this yarn it's it's a twist right there it's a three ply twist it's a big big twist and so I'm going to add a little bit of that in too and you'll notice I didn't introduce that right away I let the other two do the work for a while and then I introduced a new one okay so let's go look at the back of a rug Angela's gonna I don't think you shot these yet did you Angela you're going to shoot these 
rugs. So uh, let's look at the back and you can see the back of my rug. So in the back of my rug, sometimes, yes, there is little places where you can see the burlap and there is a little space that's that someone was wondering. And this is just hand sewn. Norma did this for me. So this is this rug here. That's how it looks in the front. And this is how it looks in the back. There you go. Right there. Now I'm just going to get my little pink book here. Oh, yeah. It was the Nordic collection. So it was the back of the rug. And I want to show you the Nordic collection. So Greg, because I have this beautiful rug. That I'm not going to show you right now because I want to hang it. But you can just get a peek at it. Um, this is the one I've been working on. And I want to hang it and have a look at it myself. It just came back from the bind from the binders. So these are all under new products, okay? Um, and this is our Nordic collection. And this is based, if you look at this, you can see. And I think next week I'm going to start a rug where I'm using. And if you look at the rugs that we used, uh, the rugs that I showed you out front, that's sort of based on this. If you added pink to that and a pale green, you would have that. So this is Nordic gray, and this is a new yarn that we, well, that we got in. And it's, you can see it's very thick and very floppy and it's soft. It's a bit like New Zealand stream. It's a little bigger and a little, little fluffier. So this is Nordic gray and this is Greg's newest collection. And you can buy them individually. You don't have to buy the whole collection. And this is Nordic stone, just a nice brown stone. You can see how beautiful these look. I'm surprised Greg didn't name that the EI mud. I'm surprised he <laughs> didn't. And this is Nordic steel. And Nordic is the name of the yarn that we're using. And we have Nordic cream. And this is just, look, it's just the slightest wash over that and you're just going to see that subtle bit of butter through it it's really beautiful and nordic sand so this is a palette that i've been using and been really attracted to this is nordic sky hi greg do you want to come in and talk about these nordic uh, willow good. you're good nordic willow right here just, you know, it doesn't look like there's a lot of difference between these two, but there actually is, so that they end up being very important. And you can see in this rug the subtle transitions that I've made with colors. And this is, I think, my favorite, and I used a lot of this in this big rug. It's Nordic Sea. So I just want to show you these like this. Angela got these all ready for us this morning because Mary is home mending her knee. Isn't that beautiful? It's so soft and beautiful. So at our Zoom on the weekend, someone said to me, it's really important that you keep telling people that when you share rug hooking, you don't know what you're sharing because it made a big difference in my life. And so I'm going to... and. And she really moved us all. We were having the Ageless Creativity Zoom, and she was telling us her story. And it really made a difference in, in, to us and how we felt. And, uh, but it's her story, so I'm not going to share it here. And I, but I just know that everybody has a story, every one of us. Lorna's got a story. Angela's got a story. I've got a story. Connie's got a story. Mary's got a story. We've all got stories. And... Um, for many of us, rug hooking has made a difference in that story. So um, I just want to thank you for watching. And I want to tell you that when you share rug hooking, you just never know what you're sharing with someone. So be sure to share it. Teach someone else how to hook a rug. Uh, give someone one of, your, one of your pieces. Make a gift of it. Share it. Share rug hooking. Tell people um, about it and teach them how to do it so that they can free their own creativity. And this is... Oh my gosh, what a beautiful collection. And I'm just going to go out right behind here because it's so beautiful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing rug hooking. Thanks for sharing this video. Thanks for everything. See ya.